What a load of crap. look better in black. I don't think insurance is going to cover this one. Oh, Reese, you absolute dick. Look what you done. Mm -hmm. I built this place. My own two hands and a couple of hundred expendable workers. How does it feel, Jack, to lose again? You know, if I'm honest, kid, feels pretty shitty. shitty. I'm proud of you, kid. You didn't stop it and kill me. This is the part where you give me the we're not so different you and I speech again. <laughs> oh, God, hell no. You're way better at killing people than I am. How many people do you think were on the emails, huh? How many of your co workers did you just eject? in space to get rid of me, huh? What makes you think you're the good guy in this scenario, huh? Exactly. Everyone thinks they're the hero of their own story. And uh, I should have seen this coming. Ever since I came to this nacho-flavored shit on the planet, I've been betrayed by everybody I gave a rat's ass about. My boss, my girlfriend, hell, my goddamn daughter. 
Maybe I deserved it. <clears throat> the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And you don't see a pattern forming here? Ambition blinds you. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. Take a good look around here, Reese. This is what success seems like. You'll be able to see. After a while, you start to measure it by the size of the pile of destruction around you. You gotta break it down and build it back up. This was your first step in that. It's the only way you'll see. And there's so much to break down before you can build again. <laughs> I'll find a different way to do things. I'm not gonna follow in your <laughs> No! You think you can take me out? You little shit! <laughs> Do this, Reese. Are you ready to do this? You are not winning this time. No, this will be more of a tie, but it'll be so worth it to watch you die. This is what commitment looks like. This is leadership. This is being a goddamn hero. Everything. You're not! I'm not going anywhere. As long as you've got those cybernetics in you, <laughs> I'll be sitting here waiting for my chance to take you out. We're past playing games, Reese. Oh, all I need is time. One day, when you've forgotten all about me, I'll take over your body and skin you alive with your own two while you're sleeping. Getting laid. Wait, 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 wait. What, what are you doing? What the... Reese, what the hell? No, no, please, please. Please, don't do this. No, Reese, you, you don't know what it's like. Absolutely nothing there. Don't do this. I'm sorry, Jack. It's over.
It's what's keeping the Vogue Guardian here! No, you can't do that! It'll kill Gordon! We've got no choice! It's that, or we all die! Just stay out of my way! monster that protected it, they were all gone. All we were left with was each other, and the memories of those we lost along the way, all for nothing. There isn't much more to it. Life sort of returned back to normal. Well, our normal. That was it. You destroyed Gordas, then walked away. Moved on with your life. Like nothing happened. I didn't want to shoot her. I wish there was some other way. What about you? After I came to, I grabbed the rights to Atlas on Pandora from Jack's office. Figured I could use it to build something. A fresh start. At that point, it made sense to head back to the Atlas facility we left. Got it going again. Luckily, it was well stocked. Whole lot of fruit. Fixed myself up. Worked on some prototypes. Obviously, that was all after she ditched me on Helios. I can't believe you thought we left you intentionally. If anyone deserves to have trust issues here, it's me. You had a handsome Jack, 
in your head the entire time and, and waited until you were backed into a corner to tell us. It wasn't like that. Besides, I was afraid you'd freak out if I said anything. Well, we had every right to freak out. You and Jack... You and Jack ruined our lives. Are you serious? That is what you're pissed about? It was a little more complicated than that. What isn't complicated is the fact that you were making googly eyes at my sister the entire time you were around. Well, I came out with a few scars too. Go on, punk. Quit stalling. Man, put some hustle in it. I, I ain't got all day. I recognize that voice. Kroger? Uh, really? What is this shit? A debt needs to be repaid. What is that supposed to mean? Yo, man, you didn't tell me this dude would be holed up in a bandit camp. The whole damn place was coming after me. You seem fine. I mean, I lost them, but I wouldn't stick around here too long. <laughs> Just a matter of time before they come through. I'll take my chances. Psh, whatever. Oh, look here. We got Fiona and her corporate chump. The name's Reese, thanks. Look at you, all wrapped up like birthday presents. Hey, Kroger, where's your buddy? Oh, wait, I remember now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> remember why you can. <laughs> Look, I brought you your bandit boss. We gonna make the trade or what? Two for one. Can't beat that. Take them. No, they ain't making it out of here. This is personal. Hey, no, no, stop! This is the end of the line, girl. You, you can't let him do this! So, if you got some last words, just to get them out now. Because you know what they say payback is. I know you probably think it's your thing, but that mustache... It's awful. I want you to hear that, because I feel like a lot of people in your life are worried to tell you. Which is sad. Hmm. Shit talker to the end. You know, I can respect that. This one's for Finch! Ah! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's he doing? This? This is weird. I don't know. Maybe he has a question. <laughs> oh, great! A firing squad. I just hit murder bingo!
Back off. Laser pointers off! Laser pointers? The children of Helios try to avoid guns when it comes to conflict resolution. What? <laughs> I thought I lost you, buddy! <laughs> Same here, man. I can't believe this! Come on! That works too. What's up, Glasses Face? Not much, Hat Lady. We got a lot to catch up on, but it's not entirely safe out here. We'll take you back to the base. Base? Oh yeah. You're not gonna believe what we've done to the place. was nuts! So, I ended up taking your advice, bit the mustachey guy when he wasn't looking, and I made a break for it. Weird to think he's dead now. Uh, they're both dead, actually. Right. Right. I hung around, tracked you guys as best I could. I was working on a plan to spring you, but then you left on the rocket, and uh, Valerie opened the vault, and just all hell broke loose. I tried to find you guys, but eventually I started suspecting the worst. I didn't want to think that way, but but after a while, it's just hard not to lose hope. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just happy you're safe. Same here, man. The whole thing was so surreal, you know? I mean, Helios crashing, but by the time the dust settled, everyone was gone. Except for the ones that made it to the escape pods. Managed to find a vet. She got out, thanks to you. She's back at the base. Never expected to be leading a bunch of Hyperion refugees. I mean, they were crawling out of those things like newborns. Just bleary-eyed and scared. Then you put your newly acquired Pandoran survival skills to work. You joke, but it definitely helped. I mean, look, obviously, I'm no expert, but I was light years ahead of these pencil pushers. I found JR from distribution eating dirt. Liter literally, just sitting there, just shoving dirt into his mouth. Really disturbing. I mean, most of these people, they hadn't spent a waking hour doing anything but just sitting on their ass, getting sweatier and fatter. <sighs> Which is why we decided to make our base out of what was left of Helios. Cool, right? Whoa. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty deferential. Um, what is happening right now? They're showing you their respect. What, me? But this isn't for you? <laughs> You're kidding me. I wish I was. Look, they even have a shrine for him. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's a statue of Jack. Yes, very observant it was at one point, but uh, they went ahead and labeled it Reese. Someone tried to alter the face to look like you, but um, most of these guys are basically shitty at everything. Is it douchey to say that I could kind of get used to this? Oh, that's bad, isn't it? It's a little douchey, yeah. Mm, much more than a little. Well, if they were bound to you, you'd know this feels awesome. Reese, you don't understand. To them, you are the great liberator. You see, you crashing Helios shed them of their corporate shackles. All right, then. Let's take advantage of my fame.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> My forehead isn't really that big. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes, it is actually. You're just jealous because they're not drawing pictures of you. You're right, Reese. You got me. I told you, they're sucky. Kill it with fire. <laughs> Will you two quit goofing off already? Will you relax? Come on, get me some Drake fruit. Drake fruit. Drake fruit's delicious. You're not even a little curious to hear what this guy has to say? I mean, yeah, but there's fruit. I'm, uh, I'm talking to him. Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. Have fun. I've got some work to do. I'm doing the talking. Okay, I'll be the backup muscle. Why? I got a gun. Okay, cool. Then Fiona, you're a bad cop, and I'll be good cop. Wh why do you get to be good cop? Because I called it. No, no, I'm good cop. and we want some questions. So you listen, buddy. You make sure to answer... Who are you? A truth seeker. Listen, you realize you're a prisoner in a bandit camp, right? Who knows what these people are capable of doing to you? I can't help you unless you help me. So help me. I will break your... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I'm still bad cop, right? Is that is that what we've decided on? Or else one of us... Just slightly unclear which one... I saw people wearing those suits on the base. That means you were on Helios. Or at least around the crash site. Look, you obviously know us. You wouldn't be doing this if you didn't. So just... No more games. I do know you. Better now than I ever have. I was there. I was there when Gordas was destroyed. I saw the betrayal. I saw it. But I could not believe it. I had asked for only one thing. After giving so much, I had sacrificed everything for my friends, only to be betrayed. Questions? <laughs> you and me both. Hey. Gordas. Gordas was my friend too. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to believe that too. How is this even possible? I mean, how are you even standing here right now? I went back to Helios. I needed to survive. To find you. To learn 
the truth. <sighs> but why the disguise? I mean, why the secrecy? Huh? Why, why not just tell us? I was afraid if you knew who I was, you would lie about what happened. It is in your nature to lie. He's got a point there. Right, Hyperion guy, con artist. It checks out. You took us prisoner. You dragged us through the desert. Yeah, and you beat the shit out of me along the way. I felt betrayed. I did not trust you. I should have known better. I am sorry for not trusting you. Please forgive me. Oh, come on. How can you be mad at that face? <laughs> that is a face, right? I'm sorry, too. <laughs> no need. You had your reasons. Okay, so obviously I'm excited to see Loaderbot 2, but it doesn't explain why you got us all together. I mean, I assume that's why you had me captured by that Kroger guy? Yes. Follow me. I brought you together to help me assemble Gordas and summon the Vault of the Traveler. Whoa. Yeah. Heavy. Have you forgotten about the Vault Monster that nearly killed us? This time, it will be different. How? We will all be there to fight it. With some friends. We were unprepared. Weak. That won't be the case this time. That's not much of a plan. Not that I'm saying no. I have faith. We can find a way. Can't we just, you know, assemble her enough to be half a Gordas before she gets to vault summoning size? No. The pieces were damaged during the blast. It's all or nothing. Killing the Vault Monster is the only way to ensure that Gortus can live in peace. The only way to save her. Whatever help the Children of Helios can provide is at your service. Thank you. I don't have an army of former Hyperion weirdos. But I owe you my life. Anything for Gortus. Well, the endless riches is what usually motivates people. You are the best. So, you, me, LB, Bond's on board. Hell yeah, he is. I can get Sasha here. No, oh, uh, so she's, uh... How many more we need? Vault Hunter teams are most effective in groups of four. Two teams would optimize our chances of success. Okay, so we need three more members. Loaderbot, any suggestions? It's... All you. Okay, no pressure. Just give me a second to think. Who's stopping you? I'm a visual thinker. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I, I know the words that you just said, but not together like that. She achieves clarity through visualization. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you know, why didn't you just say that? 